cheat on fear? What is it about? Tell us more. It's looking at failure in the face and saying to failure, thanks for teaching me. Looking at not the outcome, but the lessons of life and embracing those lessons as it shapes you into your purpose. So Cheat on Fear was looking at those concepts, I look at failure, looking at challenges of life, and how do we overcome those things? Many of us, sadly, go through life challenges and we get to a place where we give up. Mm. For anybody to get to that place where they're giving up, then they can't dream anymore. So Cheat on Fear is looking at life, looking at all the challenges one is facing, and finding a place where you don't become entrenched, but you become malleable to life, so that you allow those failures, you allow the things you fear to shape you, not to succumbing to them and giving into them, but building your muscles, your resilience, so that you are then able to look at that issue and say, you know, I know I've tried this once and I failed. I've tried it twice and I failed. And you look at Edison's story. He tried a thousand times, or he said he learned a thousand times how not to make a light bulb. So, if you continue for the thousand and first time, what about me? And that's what I looked at. So you see, fear is around us, but the only way you can overcome fear, not all the time, but one of the ways I have discovered that works for me is to face it head on. Tower of Terror, 13th floor ride, Disneyland. I was scared of heights, but because of my children, I had to put that fear and go on that. And amazingly, after that ride, the fear of heights went away. Hmm. Financial challenges, very bad at money man management, or should I say, I had very, I couldn't delay gratification. If I want it and it's available, I'll use credit to buy it. Ended up amassing a lot of debt. How do you come out of debt when your habit is spending? So I look at that mountain and I say to myself, okay, fine, I've got to do something. So I go to my wife, we start working. And it is not an embarrassing thing to say to somebody, that's an area of development for me. Or should I say weakness, but I call it area of development because until you ask somebody for help, you are still stuck in that place of fear. Mm. So that book, I wrote it to talk about all the majority of the challenges I faced and how I dealt with them one-on-one -on -one, with somebody helping me and eventually I look at my life now and I'm a better person for it because I can look at the failings in my life, I can look at the successes in my life and I believe it's made me a well-rounded person. I wrote a chapter in my book called Feel the Fear but do it anyway. Mm -hmm. And as you, it talks about many of the things you're talking about as well, because fear is all around us. Mm -hmm. I think the biblical uh, concept of God has not given us a spirit of fear tends to make us feel bad mm -hmm. when we fear. Right. Or we are made to think we are not supposed to fear. Mm. But I argue that fear is a natural part of our biology. It is. Um, for me, I realized that fear usually signals two things. Mm -hmm. One, a lack of adequate preparation mm -hmm. or not knowing enough about a situation I'm, 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 I'm dealing with. And I have, throughout many instances in life, have had to feel the fear but do it anyway. Yeah. John Mayer sings in one of his songs saying, fear is the friend that's often misunderstood. It and, is. And I, 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 I listen to your story and I think a lot of people um, at one point in, or the other in your time need that reminder that fear is part of life. It's supposed to help us. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to nudge us. It's supposed to remind us. It's supposed to do more for us than against us. Yes. And you know, during the season of my challenge in, in, in coming up with this book, Cheat on Fear, um, two songs that kept me going. One by Kirk Franklin from his album, Smile, 
and he, he, the title of the song is Hello Fear. Fear demands an action from you. And what I find is when you see fear and you go for it, then what you're doing is you're building and you're actually discovering the courage that was on the inside. Because courage is actually knowing that I'm fearful of this and still doing it. Then the other song was by um, Marvin Sapp, where he talks about the vision on the inside of you, the dream on the inside of you, the purpose on the inside of you is greater than the fear that you see. I have, I have come to the place where, you know, for me, failure is a good teacher. Fear is a good teacher because the more I know I don't know something, I go back and I research. When I research and I have the information, I can then face that situation.